Okay, we've got a bit of an urgent update on one of my original, few of my original videos when I talked about my spark arresting system of uh, stainless steel wool that I had curled up and stuck inside my hose um, like so I just had that curled up and stuck in there Okay, it's not a good idea, it doesn't work um, on a larger bottle on smaller bottles like this it worked so far, it has worked but of course you've only got a small amount of gas in there now even on that I'd suggest you use a spark arrest on something that long on this really tiny one that I had set up in my pill bottle okay that's probably safe enough you can't put a spark arrest on that, it's too small but anything bigger than that put a, uh, a definite, uh, definitely a better spark arrestor on this is one I've made up now uh, to use this we've got a piece of um, small hose this is a 15mm diameter inside hose there you get two of these fittings um, gas fittings and plumbing shops that sort of thing uh, they're a very neat fit on the end of the hose as you can see there you get some uh, fish tank air stones that I've got here these are the type I'm using now so um, on the packet there it says 15mm diameter so that makes them a, uh, almost too tight of a fit in the hose so I've soaked that in some hot water and you can jam them right up inside there and that makes that a really super fit around the outside okay uh, you've got to cut this end off this part here clip that off with a pair of side cutters so you don't have that air pocket in there you can butt them right up to those fittings All right. there's two types of fittings you can get you can get these ones with a large hole in the end like so or these ones okay these ones are better once again if you use that that will give you an air pocket against your air stone okay you don't want the air pocket you want to be able to butt that right up to it like so without that air hole there so if you use these that will butt right up to your air stone both ends so do that cut your hose with enough room for a fitting for an air stone and for a fitting on the other end okay once you've done that get two good quality clamps really good heavy ones clamp them on okay and then you can put your six mil inside diameter hose on the end now the other thing I've got here that's working well is this is a MIG wire uh, welding tip they come in a packet, that's the ones I'm using for now. Um, on there you can see that they are 6 mil, um, 6 millimeter outside diameter, so that's a tight fit inside the 6 mil hose, and they are 0.6 mil hole in the center, so for 0.6 wire, uh, it's a really tiny hole. So you can use 0.6 wire, uh, 0.9, 1.2, and so on. So it depends on what size jet you want at the end, they work better than the basketball fittings because these ones are um, you have to squash them over to get a nice tiny hole but that one as I said is a 0.6 hole already so that's pretty tiny so make up one of those I'd strongly suggest you have one of those on the end of your line uh, I've also got two bubblers in line they're not hard to make you're just using soft drink bottles like this you drill a hole in your lid with um, I've got a uh, using a 5 16th drill bit put two holes in one hose goes down the fluid the other hose just goes in the top and like I said, I've just got two, one straight after the other. Okay, you can't be too careful with this stuff. Um, the reason I'm revising my spark arrestor, because I was using this in the end of my plastic hose. This is a um, oxyacetylene heating, uh, cutting tip. So um, put that in the end of my hose. It was a really nice, neat, tight screw in fit, and I thought that was good, which it was. It worked well. I've got a nice flame. Once again, that's a really tiny hole in the end of that. Um, I don't have measurement on that. But as you can see, that's a tiny hole in the end. It's super small. So that was working well. I had a nice flame coming out at the end of that. Now that works good, but in the other end you'll notice there's a big hole in there. So this is a cavity inside there. That is full of gas. That thing in there will be full of gas. You will be full of gas from all the way from the tip to there. All right. Now that worked fine, as I said before, until I turned the power off. When I turned the power off, I got a flashback through the tip, down my line, and that's my bubbler okay it blew the bottom out of that blew it off the bench blew the lid off it luckily and um, covered the whole bench in water which was better than blowing the whole bench up but um, that saved me okay so at least one bubbler a good quality spark arrest like this they don't cost much to build um, these fittings here probably cost five dollars for the two um, I don't have a price on the welding tips but you can pick them up second hand probably they don't need to be good for welding they just need to have a small hole 
Um, the hose is next to nothing, clamps are fairly cheap, so the whole thing might cost $20, if that, probably $15. Um, the advantage, advantage of these over the commercially made spark arresters is that that fish tank in there, a fish tank air stone inside makes it virtually impossible for anything to get through and also you can adjust the size of your tips on the end. You can't do that with the other ones. So make up one of those and use at least one bubbler in your kit, otherwise that may happen or worse.